takes to win this tonight. Spence Jr., four years pressure, the same height, that weight so crucial. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner with his trainer, Derek James, wearing white with gold. His official weight, 10 stone, six pounds, five ounces, one victories, including 18 big wins by knockout. From DeSoto, Texas, USA, the IBF number one ranked challenger in the world, Earl the Truth Spence Jr. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner with his trainer, Dominic Engel. He's wearing red and white and officially weighed in at 10 stone, six pounds, seven ounces. In 37 professional fights, he has 36 victories, including 25 wins by knockout and one defeat. That defeat, the reigning, defending, IBF, whoever weight champion of the world, the special one, Cal, Special K. Good luck to you both. Touch gloves. Go, lads. What's not just in this thriving 10 stone 7 division, but at any weight in recent quality fighter. He's going to sit back. Who loves fighting southpaws? He blew away. Rehydrated, recarved. From Brook. Very positive from Brook. Nice jab. Looking for Great reflex, he always had cut-like reflexes, but he times that right-hand counter beautifully off that back foot. Body shot early on. That'll be the tactics to work that mid -six. Gone up to super welterweight and vacated the crowd, but he didn't want to go. Not looking out of his depth here. Speed-wise, people thought he might have struggled coming down to the weight. Remember, Spence Jr., a pre-fight betting favourite. Just spurs him on. Another body shot from the American. It's so key here. It is. Heads just coming desperately close together there. So keep to the middle. Be patient with him. You'll get him. Behind your hand. Stay behind your hand. Errol Spence Jr. in the white with the gold tassels. Fleet fists of Kel Brook, who's got the experience. But Spence Jr. and through those 21 wins so far. Southpaw fights an orthodox. Kelbrook found his range quite early and having some good success here in the second round. With an uppercut. Will he test Spence Jr.'s chin? It was in the Bundu fight. Also got a good win over Chris Algeri. He landed some nice body shots in the first round. And when I'm just going, but this is great response from Kelbrook. I mean, he's getting just the away from the counter shot that comes back to him. Brook has definitely found his distance and timing. Not great tactics. But he's obviously confident in his own punching power and his ability to take a punch because he's walking forward. Fraught with danger, this defence. And it's shaping up well. Do you think the uh, all-round experience and ability of Kelbrook, 31-year-old, four years older than Errol Spence? But a good left hand there, and he's got real... Brooks always had a pretty solid chin, was buzzed by light on his feet. Errol Spence trying to work out on the inside. But Errol Spence with a wry smile on his face. We can see on his back foot, Kelbrook having to apply more pressure now because he's had a bad start for the round. Made Brook realise that he is in with a bit of a puncher. Spence looking a bit wild there, a bit desperate. Actually, every single round of every single fight, but now he's under pressure. Now he's in with a southpaw. The orthodox himself, so so fast and sharp. And he, there's the counter punches there. He does it so well, so effective. Real tension here, and there's the right hand of Kel Brook, laughing eventually, but having none of it, and coming back with a left hook of his own. And show any weakness to his opponent. Both so four, four years with Spence. 
Can he deliver it? All to the drama experience. And you said there, Brooke has got the more experience in the danger zone. You know, when it's not going, you know, it doesn't mean you can write him off. Not at all. So that's some really good punches landed already. Looking strong here. And Spence having a shit punish feel to the Texan. Well, Errol Spence really trying to dig his feet and really letting some heavy shots go, but Kel Brook just looks the physically strong and he's able to push him. I've got Kel Brook a couple up at the halfway stage. Of course, the cracking matchup. What happens next? It just seemed to me, Carl, that or whatever it was from Errol Spence, he was being busy and he's still letting big shots go, but Brook making it awkward for him. I mean, he throws some. But Brook continues to look strong. Back comes Spence though, the combination Errol Spence Jr. and neither promoted. As he gets a left hook away. I think the pressure from Kel Brooks just slightly slowed down and that's, that's made a bit of a left hook. Brooks has well got in and now he looks a bit ragged, Brooks. Well, if we ever had any concern, it would have been in the second half of the fight with Kel Brook coming down from middleweight. Starting to feel that weight loss. Session for Errol Spence Jr. How do we know aesthetically? It was just annoyed by a shot there, Kelbrook. Bit of swelling as well. Good work from Errol Spence. Back comes Brook with a couple of clubbing shots. Looking ahead from Brook. And the left eye is swelling badly of Kelbrook. And the face marking up quite badly there, especially around that left eye. Spence Jr. Don't say anything. Errol Spence a couple up. Tony Bellew has Kelbrook one up. Darren Bell. How are you seeing it? Well, I've got Brook a couple up. Errol Spence coming on strong. And this was the period of the fight that many want to work. That left eye looking quite badly marked up and swelling for, for the Brook camp. Oh, Spence good shot from Errol Spence Jr. there. His accuracy is excellent. At this sort of range against a southpaw, a fast southpaw that's still pressure. So let's big shots go. This could be troubling for Brooke. Really applying the pressure now. Big left hook from.